right, we're breaking in the, the new reel here. Daiwa BG3000. Starting off with the six inch uh, Berkeley Gulp, pink and white. Got about an ounce on here, so let's get this out there. Sick. Let's do this. Uh, someone lost the handle. Yep, I'm on. Yep. Dude, yeah. Called it too, right before I got hit. Oh no, kelp. Oh no. Stupid rock. Oh, greenling, dude. Fatty too. I don't know how I'm gonna get this guy up though. No. Dude, fatty. Look at that. That's a good 15 inches. Yeah. Woo! Bro, literally five minutes. Damn. That was like the third cast. Nice. We're keeping fish today, too. Hey, I'm keeping fish today. Check that out. Fatty. It's a female, but I think I'm gonna keep this guy. Let's measure him up. Fifteen and a quarter. Fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half. Let's go. Damn, he smacked this grub, tore it up. Let's see if we can still use it. Somehow. There you go. That's pretty good. Six inch Berkeley grub. Pink and white. So far, so good. Haven't lost a rig, so. Pretty good sign.
What is that? Probably kelp. Dang. Did I snap off? I don't think I did. Oh, that grub is done. Tore up. Switch up uh, the color. See if we can get them on a different color. All right, I don't think that orange one was producing too much, so switching over to the nuke chicken. Nuclear chicken. Red and green. Still got about an ounce, a little over an ounce on here. So I think that's perfect for this, uh, these kind of swells at the moment. Might have caught them all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna move her over there just to. I'm kind of over. The, I'm not over this spot, but I'm. Yeah. I'm not getting much. You might as well check out on the side. It's actually good to move around. Um, yeah. And then we can always come back with it with a higher tide over here. All right. So Dan says that we can get on top of this big boulder right here and cast towards the beds on the ocean side because right now we're fishing kind of side to side not actually facing the ocean so um, he says there's a way to get from here to there and then we can climb up this big boulder it's a little steep but we have to go around if it's safe enough to cross we'll do it so I was thinking we had to cross this uh, this boulder from here to there, uh, but the tide is actually low enough right now so we could just cross these rocks. The only thing with that is that we cannot stay too long, especially with the incoming tide. I say we have maybe an hour tops to fish that side, because by that time, this is gonna start to get covered up. Um, and this is our only way here. This gap right here is way too big. To, to jump over so if we don't make it on time we gotta wait for the next low tide and we don't have time for that today um i'll go up first yeah maybe you could just pass me the backpack shit, yeah. it's kind of damp huh yeah that's the problem Yeah. It's too wet, I don't want to fucking risk it because we're going to have to come back down. So right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to fucking slide down just to get down. Yeah, it's just like a long reach. Should have brought a ladder, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? what were you thinking? Why didn't you bring the ladder? <laughs> had, your, had your truck, come on. <laughs> Dude, every plumber brings a ladder to the fish's box. <laughs> All right. We're headed down to one of these spots. Yeah, here we are. I'm trying to find my way through here. I actually got lost. Somehow I ended up on that side of the hill. So I had to go back to my car and drive up a little more, park over here. And uh, here we are, a little trial and error. We'll get there. We got time all day to fish today. So pretty excited. Could take you good 30 minutes just to get down maybe 45 minutes just to get back up so you gotta time it correctly all right see you guys down there I think we're gonna try switching different colors because this white one's not really producing today. 
which is strange. I bet if I threw a, uh, one with the white and pink on it, it'll smack right away. But yeah, six inch. I mean, that's got some really good action on that one. Look at the weights on this. I've been using the same rig literally all day. And luckily I haven't broken off. And the line, I keep checking to see if it's frayed. I mean, it's got a little scratch here and there, but nothing too major. So it's still holding up pretty good. It's already past noon. I've been out for like four hours, caught that one greenling. Surprisingly, like I said, no rigs have been lost since. So let's keep it going. I'm just gonna switch it up on the colors, like I said. So let's, let's try that. This spot was no good today at least. We've got to make our way back up because it's going to take about 45 minutes uh, to get back up there. It's about two, it's about 210 right now. So we'll head back up and then we'll uh, cook up that fish because uh, I'm getting really hungry. And then especially after walking back up, I'm going to lose so many calories. So, all right, let's do this. All right, we are getting ready to do a catch and cook. I wanted to do it on the rocks, but I wasn't able to take everything down. I didn't want to make a second trip, you know, carrying all my fishing gear and then uh, the, um, all the food and just all, all my equipment for uh, cooking. Parked up here, uh, public parking space, and uh, we are gonna do a uh, Coke Green Lean sandwich. I guess you can call it, I think they call them sandwiches when it comes to fish. Totally forgot to bring a, a cutting board to fillet the fish. So what I'm gonna do is uh, use my the top of my cooler and hopefully that works out. Got my little spices here. It's, on, it's a little on the go, multi-pack. Um, it's got, you know, garlic salt, black pepper, salt, Paprika. First thing is first, let's get the fish filleted. Okay. Not sure what this is. This came out of his stomach. Probably some kind of muscle. I don't know, I see a little bones in this thing, so it's probably a small, small fish. Just one nice fillet. Put on a little bit of uh, garlic salt. A little bit of paprika. So I didn't bring my, um, I was gonna do like a beer batter, like a uh, pan mix, um, but I totally forgot to bring it. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of butter. All right, let's we'll see how this tastes. Cheers. Mm. 
Look at that white meat right there. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Super like subtle flavor. So good. I think I seasoned it just right. I can really taste the paprika in there. Today didn't really turn out as um as we planned. I literally caught that grilling third cast as soon as I as soon as we got there in the morning. I was around 7.30 or so. And after that, no bites for hours. It's crazy. I thought it was gonna be a good day, but you know what? We got our greenling. Can't really complain too much. I mean, look at this view right here. Cooking the, the fish that you caught right in front of the ocean where it once swam. That is beautiful. It's been a a pretty good while since I've done a little catch and cook and I kind of miss them. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. I've been trying to do a little more of um, off the rocks fishing for you guys. It's a little hard once you get a kayak. It's a, hard, a little hard to get back to um, shore fishing. It's definitely a lot more fun in my opinion. So. That is so good. A little bit of salad. I'll sit here and enjoy my meal. Finish it, then head home. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.